All right, time now for all things Gators, all things orange and blue. Dan Hicken, Frank Frangie. What's up, Hick? Frankie, I'm doing great. Thank you, a Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, se-ortho.com, for all your orthopedic needs. Man, there's a lot to dive into, a lot to get into. This is a crazy time at the University of Florida. Spring football starts yeah, this yeah. week. Do we I'm excited. With, do we start with football? I think, well, that's it. Are we burying the lead if we yeah, do that? We are. We are. Your choice. Uh, yeah, Open a card. Uh, let's let's talk basketball. You want to talk about the Natty Championship? Yeah. <laughs> let's talk basketball. <laughs> Mike right. White leaves for Georgia. Uh, this, I'm sorry, what? This would be a better podcast if, because I don't particularly like you. I know. To be clear about that. I know. So it'd be, and I like disagreeing with you. I know you do. So this would be a better podcast if I disagreed with you. But they all disagree with us. They do. They very so much so. In that respect, so, it's yes. good. But you, you don't have a voice. You do, yeah. but you don't hear. Yeah. I, I Here's my take. With that, with, I, I I am very bothered, as you are. I thought Mike Bianchi wrote a column that hit it right on the head mm-hmm. that essentially said, angry Gator fan, if you are one of the if you're one of the ones that's glad he is gone, mm-hmm. in my and I respect everybody's opinion, mm-hmm. by the way. It mm-hmm. doesn't make one person's right and one person's wrong. And I don't mean to be mean about that. People people aren't trying to get it wrong, any of us. Right. But but I just fear that we that if going to four tournaments in about every five years if winning a game in every tournament, oh, they didn't make it this year. Mm-hmm. If going to the elite, elite eight in your first two or three years there, if you really think you can get better, that the next guy's going to be better, I think I think I don't like the way it, it landed. Mike White, you all know by now, left. Let me be clear about this. He was not getting fired. Okay. The people that believe he left because they were firing him, that is not true. Right. He was not getting right. fired. Right. Um. He he left because. It was clear the vitriol toward him. Mm-hmm. I think I think he had had enough. I think his family had had enough. I think Florida understood that. Someone said, well, why didn't they try and keep him? Why didn't they try and stop him? Because I think they understood the angst he was going through. Mm-hmm. He just believed that no matter what, they were he was not going to be their guy, shy of winning the whole thing. And I think he left of his own volition. Never lose sight of the fact that it's hard to win tournament games. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Anthony Grant, a lot of people want Anthony Grant. Mm-hmm. Anthony Grant's one of the genuinely good people I know. Anthony Grant was at Alabama for seven years. Mm-hmm. He made the tournament one time. One trip to How'd the tournament. How'd they tur- do? Uh, he won one and one. Okay. He, so he has one tournament win. In seven years. Yeah. And now, one of the years they didn't have the tournament. So in six six years when there was a tournament, mm-hmm. he went once and won one game. Shaka Smart, everybody wants him. Yeah. He was at Texas for six years. How many tournament won- games did he win? He never won one. He went, to th- he went to three game tournaments and never won a game. Mm-hmm. So he won zero. Mm-hmm. Anthony Grant won one. I mean, Mike White won. Six. Oh. And he went to, and so it's hard to win tournament games and people nah, don't no. get that. Nah, the no. other part of it is if you don't think Mike White is good, don't kid yourself. He had, the, here's how good he is. If he didn't want to stay at Florida, he's making three and a half million dollars. Mm-hmm. He could snap his fingers and go get another three and a half million dollar job. How many people could do that? How mm-hmm. many people can say, okay, you don't want me? I'm going to go get another job, kind of just like yours, for the same money. You know why nobody? No, you know why nobody? When the fans start getting down on them, you know why nobody ever leaves and goes and takes the next job? Why? Because they can't. <laughs> this guy could take the next job, and so in the basketball community, I heard he would have been in play at Kansas State. Or I think I think he would have and had a chance at that. I think he'd have been in play at Missouri, and and obviously he would have been in play for any of the mid majors, just like Anthony Grant and Shaka Smart were. So I just. I hate that he's gone. It is the best for all concerned. I think the haters were so down on him that I don't think it was going to work anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I, he's got five children. His children are getting old enough now to start hearing it. His wife was really hearing it. He was hearing it. So it's best for everybody. It's just a shame it got the way it did. And I'm not faulting anybody for your for your opinions, but it's really a shame that this damn good basketball coach and really good guy has to leave because fans don't think Winning a tournament game every year is good enough. That's so you, my take. You said, and I, it's very good. You said that Kansas State could have been in play. You said Missouri. Missouri could have been in play. So he's going to Georgia. So I don't know if you know this. Mike White is a pretty good college basketball player. I'm guessing he got that way because he's a highly competitive dude. Correct. I'm wondering if there's a little bit of bleep you yeah. in him. I, I don't to know. To go to Athens, I don't know him. Yeah. I don't have a relationship with Mike. Yeah, but I've got to believe. Yeah, yeah, I've got. I, now that uh, I'm not, I don't want to misrepresent this. I'm not saying Missouri or Kansas State said we're offering you the job. I got you. And Georgia did offer right. the job. Correct. So that was the bird of the hand. It was hand. quick. It's right yeah. there. Let's but, go. But for that to happen that fast, yeah. Um, I will tell you. Yeah, I think there's a side of him said, okay, okay, fellas, you don't want me. 
I'm not going to go to Kansas State. I'm uh-huh. not going to go to Minnesota or uh-huh. Fordham or Stanford. I'm going to go five hours away and play you twice every year, and let's see how you do. I, yeah, who in his position, who wouldn't feel that way? I will who say, in the world wouldn't feel that way? I will say this about the word vitriol, which you used. How long have we been doing the Twitter thing? Decade, maybe? Yeah, probably about that. Right? Yeah, yeah, 10 years? Yeah, about that. And I love Twitter when you yeah. tweet about sports, right? Yeah, right. And, and we in Jacksonville, we do a lot of... I do a lot of Twitter on Jags. You're doing the game, so you don't. But I, I do a lot of Twitter tweets on the Jags. Right. And, and I, you know, I'll pull no punches. You know, I'll hammer the Jags. Right. I'll tweet a lot about Gator football. Um, I have never had such vitriol come back at me. Right. For Mike White. Yeah. Oh, I know. Like, it, 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 it's it, a, it's it just blows my mind how it's so important on Twitter, but it's, and again, I, I and I stand by everything I've said. And they got mad at me when I told them that it's it's not a great program, uh, it's not well supported. Um, we don't uh, financially or in any which way. And again, oh, now Dan's blaming the fans. No, yeah. I'm not. No, you no, I'm not. I agree I'm just you. telling you what it is. You know. Yeah. And and we had a 20 year, uh, uh, 19 year, edition of Billy Donovan, what if not the greatest, the second greatest coach in Florida sports history. Um, who made great did great things, but unless you have that guy, yep, and good luck finding him and go get him. Now, you know, the Gator fans tell me that you know I got a saying it's it's fewer Drew, yeah, coming to Gainesville. Sure, um, sure they are. I'm not sure Mark's leaving the Zags or yeah. Scotty's leaving Baylor, but I will say this: if I was Scott Strickland, I'd call uh, Scott Drew just to check, but I don't know that you guys would give him enough time. Cause it took him 17 years to win a natty right, at right. Baylor. Yeah. They're, 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 and again, the guy after the guy gets more time. Yeah. And so the, the guy after the guy who was after the guy gets yeah, more yeah, time. Yeah. But, but Scott Drew's not coming and Mark Few's not coming. Yeah. Uh, we the all Murray state guys. The Murray, and if you I mean, that's the yeah, type of guy you're yeah, going to get. He's, well, he's 30 and two now. Man. Yeah. And here's the thing. What worries me is what if he doesn't come? Yeah. Then who, then who is the coach of yeah. Florida? The South Dakota state guy who's yeah. having a good year. I mean, and and then and then it's you got the South Dakota State guy, mm-hmm. your arch rival's got Mike White, yeah, who's been to six tournament games and get you Frank Martin at Florida, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So I don't want Frank Martin. So so the point becomes, and again, and here's the worst part about him going to Georgia, uh-huh. because I I like him, and again I say like I don't know him, but because uh-huh. I like who I think he is as the Florida basketball coach, yeah. I made up my mind I was going to root for him wherever he went and landed. Yeah, I know. It's well, tough. now you can't. I know. You can't root for him now. It's tough. I can't. I mean, he's, he's, he's the Georgia coach. It's, a, it's one of the most bizarre. Yeah, and by the it's, way. It is. And, and here's, the be- here's the one beauty of it. There's no more debate. You don't have to debate anymore about who's right or who's wrong. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like five years from now we'll still be debating. Yeah. What, he, what, what if he went somewhere else? He's going head-to-head with Florida yeah. on every recruit. He's going head-to-head yeah. with Florida twice a year. Yeah. He's going to be – and I'll say this. George's basketball program, in my opinion, in my lifetime, other than when Dominique, was, Dominique came out and they went to the Final Four the next year. It's awful. Terry Fair, James Banks, Vern Fleming, yeah. Hugh Durham, the coach. Very nice. Since then in the 70s. I remember Vern. They have not been on par with Florida since. No. Florida has by, been by far the better program. Yeah. If they pass Florida now, and by the way, if you're Georgia, what do you got to lose? Right. You've been behind them forever anyway. Right. You either stay behind them. Yeah. Or you take their coach. Yeah. And pass them. Crazy. That boy, that way. Hopefully it won't happen. Crazy. I'm hoping like crazy we can land the right guy. Got to get the right guy. And I do think Scott Strickland's good at hiring. He just proved it with Billy Napier. Yeah. But that's my concern. Well, in the SEC, you know, Georgia was open. Mississippi State's open. Yep. South Carolina's open. Yep. You know, look, Florida's the best of those programs. Right. But, you know, don't get too carried away. Yeah, I, I will. It'll I'll, be interesting. Yeah, I'll, so so hopefully hopefully we get the right guy in there. Yeah. Mike White stuff's behind Patino, us. Patino, yeah. Will right. Wade, right. Kelvin Sampson. <laughs> all the same staff. It's my guy. Put them all on the staff. It's my yeah. guys. Yeah, the, the one. Let's line, go all in, boys. If you, if you noticed when Scott Strickland put out the put out the uh, integrity, statement, or, yeah. integrity was in the statement. Just so you know, the word integrity is does in that eliminate my guys. I think it does. I think your Dang guys it. are off. But I will say this: Yeah, if you look at the teams that are winning, yeah, in the SEC, yeah, right now, top you had three best teams in the league right now: Auburn, Kentucky, and uh, Tennessee. Look, all three have a coach 
that was at a big time school before. Rick yeah. Barnes has been at Clemson yeah. and Texas. Yeah. Bruce Pearl's at Tennessee. Yeah. Um, John Calipari was at UMass and all over. Yeah. It's not a guy who was his first Power no. Five job. No. On all three, right. it's a guy that went somewhere else first. So we'll see what happens. Let's get yeah. to football. What about football? Spring ball, Danny. I'm excited. Spring ball, hey. Yeah. What we got. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's phase three. Yeah. It is phase three. I didn't know that until <laughs> now. the eight yeah. phase plan. Right. That's right. Spring ball is here. Uh, expectations will be laid out, according to Billy Napier. Uh, start with the quarterbacks, Emory Jones, Anthony Richardson Limited, yeah. uh, Miller from Ohio State, the two young guys, Del Rio and Kitna, be interesting. Yeah, the three, I don't I don't sense that Emory Jones is in it. But you I, think. But, but I but... think he takes the first snap, yeah. and I think he's technically in it until he's not. But I, I'd be surprised seeing what we saw last year, and I, and I love what Emory brought. He's a great kid and a great Gator. Uh, I don't think he's a good enough player, no matter what offense you're in, to to be Florida's quarterback. So that would surprise me. Well, find me a, a running back. Yeah, I. Uh, what's, what's up? You got me a running back. Well, let me get the. Can I get to a quarterback first? Oh, we did. We did. Okay, <laughs> you have, and I we start, just did. But what I do think about quarterback. Yeah. The whole if Richardson Richardson Miller thing, I can't wait to see Jack Miller. Jack Miller he may be terrible, he may be good, but I can't wait to watch. Don't you feel that way? Is there it, any way that Jack Miller could be kind of like oh I don't know some other like, Ohio State like transfer Joe came Burrow? to the SEC? But, but, can't, but I mean, aren't you aren't you dying to watch those two quarterbacks? Yeah, that's the spring for me. Yeah, for, of all the other stuff, well, then you had I, to you had to add more about the quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, that's I, important. I, I can't wait to watch them. I can't wait to watch those two guys. <laughs> okay, so so there you go. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna quarter? Who starts against Utah? That, well, Who starts against? Right now, Anthony Richardson. I think so too. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be kind of a non-story. Yeah. Uh, running back, we'll see. By I, the way, I peeked at the schedule today. Yeah, took a little look. See, did you back in the Camelot days? Yep. When we made hay. Yeah. Won titles and championships yep. and conferences. We would have been laughing at this schedule. Right. Yeah. I mean, we would have been setting them up and knocking them back, Frank. Oh, yeah. The world. We would have been. We would have been wondering if we were going to be a unanimous number one. Yeah. The uh, here's what Frank. I we had like six of seven at. In Gainesville, right, or seven of eight, some right. incredible number, right off the rip. Oh, I know. The uh, it's I tell people all the time, what's an easy schedule? It depends on how good you are. Correct. Okay, I can tell you, FSU yeah. in the nineties, yeah. we always thought they had this pathetically easy schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now they're playing the same teams. It's a little tough. Not easy anymore. <laughs> no. So, so, so it depends. It depends on how good you are. Uh, I think Montreal Johnson is their running back. Really? That's who I think is the that's two who I five think. stars. Just cannot get. They're I, not five stars. Well, so. we'll see through spring. Yeah. yeah. But I think Montreau Johnson is their starting well, running back. What do thing. you think? I think it's why. Well, and we don't know till spring. Yeah, I, mean, I have no it's idea. Kind of a silly comment. But if not this, now, any, yeah. Lingard and Bowman, then never. Yeah, and, and Bowman's really fast. Yeah. The one thing he does, he's not Jeff Demp's fast. Yeah. But he's really fast. Yeah. So the one thing he could get your guy you, Naquan's back, but he's yeah, I like beat up a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, he he got has a pretty bad injury. Yeah. So. But I think my what do you think? I mean, I think if you ask me today, I'd say yeah. Montreal Johnson's their starting running back. He's a really good player, by the way. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know. I I've, think. I think you've watched. You've watched the highlights. I think Osiris Torrance will be a starter. Yes, I do too. Yeah, yeah, I do too. Well done, nice pull. offensive lineman. Yeah, so Osiris. But but I think you should watch. So what do you? I'm going to watch the quarterbacks. Yeah. I want to see if Montreal Johnson's good. Yeah. I want to see how they play defense. Yeah. I want to see how they align. I want to see how they line yeah. up. Well, what's and... the Plan. Plays a run. And and... I want to see what number people are wearing. I, I love all this stuff. Yeah. I, I love the first. It's good. Spring. It's good. Spring yeah. ball is good. And I'm excited. And we should be excited. And this is, you know, and, and this is Billy Napier's chance to set his culture a little bit further, set his tone. Everybody's been excited about him. But, you know, as, as we've said a million times, we'll be curious to see how he coaches. Yeah. Yeah. So we I, don't know how so, he coaches. So I'm excited about it, excited about watching it. As yeah. we wrap, let's get to baseball. Well, first, we got it on the natty. You're the king of the natty. Yes. Is this 43? I think it's two. It's 40. Okay. Can we get a check on that, please? I, I think it might be 43. Graham Cam, real quick. I think it might be 43. Google National Championships Florida. It was 42 last year. I know it was Tom Seaver for a while. Yeah, I think it's 41. I think, I think this one's 43. But tennis last year may have been 42. I that think this it was. would be 43. Yeah, that's right. And by the way, 44 could be in the offing with gymnastics. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We so we got that. some things happening. We could get that. So shout out to the ladies. Yeah. Frank, I was thinking of this. <laughs> It's a T-shirt, by the way. Yeah, yeah I know. I thought, Do you want one? Uh, I don't, but I know okay. you'll get one. I like the fact you're getting them. But but the question I'll ask you is this. Um, can you name any female track and field Florida Gator in history? Because I'm not sure I can. You no, can? I can't. I can't. How about Shelly Steele, I got runner? I, you know what I got? From, you know what I got? I got nothing. Yeah. yeah. I got nothing. But I how many know. natties do we have? Uh, Forty three. Yeah, yeah, Good I, job, Frank. Yeah, but I, but I don't. I can't. But but then I failed you because I cannot name a practice. Okay, how about this? 
Mike Holloway. Yep. 10 in, of the 43. Isn't that great? That's pretty amazing. 10, the, the track coach. Shout out coach, to yeah. Mike Holloway, who yeah. should be in every Hall of Fame there is that's at the exact, University of Florida. That's exactly. 10 so, yeah, it, love of it. the 43. Uh, quickly on baseball. I like our team. I know I you do. Like what, how, I think they're going to Pitching score. got a little – it was a good series against Miami. Seton Hall, they lost the game, but whatever, it happens. Sp- Sprout becomes their Saturday guy. Yeah. That was really hard. I watched Manning throw on Sunday. He looked pretty good He's for a couple of good. Yeah. He's pretty uh, good. But I love, I, love, I love the fact that they're going to hit. Yeah. They're, they now have compiled enough good hitters. Mm-hmm. They, this will be – it, it won't be the numbers like the late 90s when they had the ping bats. Yeah. But since they went to the dead bats, they're going to hit here this year. This will me. be one of the better hitting teams. Barreling it up, if they, you will. They, they have some barrel. This all team's right. got some barrel. I love it. That's all things Gators, all things <laughs> orange and blue. Dan Hick and Frank Frangie. Thank you, Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Best in the business for all your orthopedic needs in the Jacksonville area. se-ortho.com. We'll talk to you next week. Frank, have a good time. You too, Rick.